Welcome. In this lesson, we'll be seeing conductivity in gases. We've seen in solids that uh, conduction is very fast and very efficient because solids have molecules or atoms which are very closely packed together and once the molecules near the source of heat gain heat and start vibrating, it is easier for them affect the neighboring molecules with the vibrations and the more continues the chain continues particles vibrated they interfere with the neighboring one and the vibration wave continues throughout the conductor in liquids we've seen that now <clears throat> as compared to solids they are a poor conductors because liquids have molecules which are widely spaced or in other words the intermolecular spaces in liquids are big and therefore vibration of particles does not easily transmit heat to the neighboring particles due to wide distances between molecules now coming to gases you can say uh, conductivity in gases In gases, we are saying that gases are the poorest. They are the poorest conductors of heat. They are the poorest conductors of heat. Why? The intermolecular distances are greater. When we compare them with solids and liquids, you find gases are having molecules which are very much spaced, very much spaced. And therefore, to supply heat to a molecule and let it vibrate to transmit the heat to one, and this one to transmit to another one, which is very far, we can't compare this structure of a gas with a solid, which is very much closely packed together, such that once one is vibrated, transmitting the vibration into the next one and hence transmitting the heat is very fast and very efficient compared to gases which are very much spaced even when you take a you suggest here when you take a flame you know the components of a flame a flame has many structures you find there is the the layer which has unburned gases when you in such a matchbox here this is the layer or the zone the layer sorry of unburned gases when you place a matchbox a matchstick there it doesn't burn because heat from the burning the burning layer the burning zone heat from the burning zone cannot be transmitted because it is gases which are burning it cannot be transmitted into the layer with unburned gases therefore the match stick remains unburned it remains unburned therefore gases are the poorest conductors of heat energy they are the poorest conductors of the heat energy again they don't have electrons and remember, electrons are the particles responsible of transfer of heat or transmission of heat. So we have also, they don't have free, also called mobile electrons. So it is these electrons which when heated up, they gain kinetic energy and are able to move within the structure of a material. And once they move, after being heated, then they move along with the heat, transmitting it. And in gases, they are not present. Therefore, conduction in gases, very minimal, very poor, very weak. So with that now, because we've seen conduction in each state of matter, we saw in liquids, average, solids, the best, gases, the poorest. Now we can check some of the applications of insulators, conductivity and how conduction takes place we can check some applications 
we can uh, list them. You can just leave. we cannot exhaust all of them. Again, in the exam, you can be told to, to list more than three. So we have applications of good and bad conductors. Applications of good and bad conductors of heat. They are all applied. Bad conductors have applications, good conductors have applications. In the home, in the home science or in the kitchen, in the kitchen uh, utensils, in the kitchen where? In the kitchen utensils, we have boilers, boilers made of good conductors of heat. So that's now when you supply heat to these uh, utensils, which you are used to boil water or to heat other substances, that heat will be transmitted to the other part. So if you have a boiler here, if you have a boiler here and you are supplying heat, it should be of good conductor, should be a good conductor material. So that once you apply heat here, then the heat can be distributed very fast to the other parts and you find that if you had the water inside the boiler, then it can receive heat from all parts, not just heating at one point. Still in the kitchen, on the other hand, we say that handles, handles of uh, things like the serving spoon, handles for some utensils are made of insulators or bad because you may find spoons of wooden handles to avoid bands yeah to, to avoid the heat being transmitted to your own hands as you operate the utensils therefore you find the the boilers are made of good conductors so that it is conducted very fast to the other parts for effective heating. But on the other hand, if, if a utensil has some handles, a serving spoon, you may find it's either plastic or wooden. Even the miko, the cooking uh, miko, it's made of wood because you will be operating, because you'll be using it to make ugali, which is very hot, it's made of wood, it's wooden, so that heat will not be transmitted to your hand, to the other parts, and your hand is using the, the same utensils. So to avoid some accidents like such, we use, we use them, we use a, a power conductor to make handles. Some other applications is something like uh, fire extinguishers. Fire extinguishers. They have their clothes made of made of materials like uh, the material which is still used for which is used for for lagging in some conductors in the water pipes boilers asbestos asbestos it's a material which is a very good insulator so fire extinguishers they wear them whenever they are putting off fires so that as they operate uh, this material which they are wearing will not allow it to be conducted into their body therefore for safety measures they wear clothes made of asbestos. asbestos. Another application is the uh, birds flap their wings after getting wet. Once birds are rained on, they flap their wings so that they may trap some uh, some airbags, some hair bags, some hair pockets. And once they trap some hair pockets now, 
you find that once they are flapping their wings, they trap the hair pockets and uh, the hair now, the air medium now <coughs> is, we have said that air is a gas, eh? we have said that the poorest conductors. Therefore, when they trap the air pocket, <coughs> then uh, heat energy cannot be lost from their bodies or rather they trap the air pockets to help them prevent loss of heat from their body. With other applications like uh, modern buildings where the desired inside temperature is to be established, is to be stabilized, double walls are constructed. Uh -huh. Double walls are constructed. There are some hall, uh, some modern houses wherever you find if this is the wall there are this double walled this double walled therefore you find we have the outer wall the inner wall this is the house now inside this is the room so you find inside now the space between the two walls now insulating materials insulating materials are put so the space is filled with insulating materials the insulating materials will prevent loss of heat from the room or <clears throat> entry of excess heat from the external environment so when it gets very hot outside you find that because there is a very good insulator fitted here in between the walls, then the heat won't penetrate the insulator. Even if the first wall will get the heat, the insulator will not allow the heat to go into the second and hence preventing the heat from entering the room. Similarly, if it's very cold outside, very cold outside, heat will not be lost from the room. Because even if it gets lost, the first wall will absorb it, but the space fitted with good insulating materials will prevent further movement of the heat to the outside. Therefore, you find in a modern building, uh, houses are designed such that they have double walls to prevent heat losses from the rooms. You find that by such doing, then uh, a house can be desired, can be can be designed with a stable temperature. Find there is a certain temperature in a given room, and it can be regulated whenever the occupants desire. But naturally, heat cannot be lost, and the heat cannot enter the room and how because of the insulating material substances put in between the double walls. So that is it. And uh, more other applications of good and bad conductors of heat. Therefore, thank you very much. Convection will be studied in the next episode. Thank you for following. Subscribe to Shifting Grades. Share our link with your friends. God bless you. Thank you.